Last year's question on calorimetry was tough, but the examiners could make it even more complicated. Examiners love asking experimental questions. They also love graphs. So here is a it's a tricky question, but if you think about it, if it comes up in an exam, if you think about it really carefully, think about it really hard, I think you should be okay with this. Um, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. This comes up a lot in A level. So if we're looking for the temperature change in calorimetry, and these are the results that we've taken, you want to know the, the total temperature change, so the highest temperature that it got to. So what you need to do is take your dots over this side, draw a line through them, obviously you're going to do this with a pencil and ruler, and you need to what we call extrapolate your line backwards, and then you need to find time zero, go up, and that point there is going to be the highest temperature that was reached. Not here, this just happens to be the first reading. And in between time zero, where we added the two solutions or the solution and powdered together, mixed them for a bit, in between time zero and the time we took our first reading, some temperature, some heat will have been lost. So if you get a graph like this, if you do A-level chemistry, you need to extrapolate the graph backwards to find what the temperature was straight away as soon as the reaction started. So, slightly um, tricky question there. One the examiners might throw in to the end to really, really test whether you're worthy of that A star, whether you properly, properly deserve it. If you finished all your chemistry revision, if you want that A star, if that's what you're aiming for, and if you know you want to do A level chemistry, then I suggest you maybe spend a bit of time on my A level channel checking out some of the, the introductory to chemistry playlist. Those are the sort of areas that the examiners are going to get their really hard extension questions from. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to see all the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connors or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.